Today we have a very topical subject. Floods have caused severe damage in the south of Germany. There are a large number of volunteers who help other people voluntarily and often in their free time. We start our look at volunteering with a volunteer fire department. First of all, how many volunteer fire departments do you think there are in Germany? 114, 750, around 5,600 or over 20,000? The answer can be found later in the video. But where does all this actually come from? Fire departments are needed when there are many houses in one place. There were already fire departments in ancient Egypt and ancient Rome, initially private and then run by official bodies. In medieval towns, residents were regularly obliged to help and extinguish fires. Anyone who did not help could be punished by being banished from the city. This type of fire department was compulsory, a Pflichtfeuerwehr, because every citizen or every man of a certain age, like from 20 to 60, was obliged to fight fires. This remained the case for a long time. As the Pflichtfeuerwehren, compulsory fire departments, were not always well trained and motivated, Freiwillige Feuerwehren, voluntary fire departments, were founded in the middle of the 19th century. These often emerged from or parallel to gymnastic associations. In some places there were then two fire departments in parallel and voluntary fire departments gradually took over the task of the compulsory fire departments. In fact, it is still the case today that a compulsory fire department can be deployed if no voluntary fire department is available and ready for action on site. If, in addition to the 750 or so factory fire departments that ensure safety in large industrial companies, chemical plants or airports, for example, we also have 60 Bundeswehr fire department locations, then, in addition to the 114 professional fire departments in large cities and 157 fire departments with full-time staff in smaller cities, the about 23,000 volunteer fire departments in Germany take on a very special significance. In North Rhine-Westphalia, for example, there are 130,000 members in the voluntary fire departments. Volunteer fire brigade means voluntary work. In principle, members do not receive any money for their missions, at most compensation for lost wages. If you look at Hamburg, there is a professional fire department and 86 voluntary fire brigades. This video shows the start of a firefighting operation by the Wertheim Volunteer Fire Department. The alerted firefighters come home from work, from home or possibly out of bed, get changed and set off. Previously alerted by sirens, the people on standby have a signaling device with them. In Bavaria, the law stipulates that the fire department must be at the scene within 10 minutes of being alerted. Of course, the firefighters are trained accordingly for the operations. The first course of the basic training lasts 70 hours and covers the basics of firefighting, technical assistance and legal matters. These courses are attended on different weekends or sometimes in one go, which varies and is usually agreed with a volunteer so that it suits them. The second part of 80 hours is then completed over the next two years in the home fire department. After that, you are appointed a Feuerwehrmann or Feuerwehrfrau firefighter. There are other ranks that can be obtained depending on memberships and operational readiness. There are also further training courses, whether for the use of radio telephony or breathing apparatus, for chainsaws or for equipment maintenance. There are also courses to become a squad leader, group leader or platoon leader. You can also advance to the rank of Brandmeister, fire chief. 
These ranks apply to Northern Westphalia. The ranks, badges and conditions can vary from state to state but are basically similar. At the top end are the Brandinspektoren, fire inspectors. To get started in the fire department, some fire departments offer children's fire departments from the age of 6. However, youth fire departments typically start at the age of 12. In addition to learning about structures, technology and of course first aid, the focus is on camaraderie and fun. Competitions, excursions and camps are organized at both district and national level. From the age of 16, training to become a real firefighter begins. You shouldn't think that voluntary fire departments have second class equipment. Of course, it is possible that older special vehicles are still in use at, at Königstein Fortress. If the passes are narrow, a suitable vehicle that even fits in the elevator was purchased back in GDR times. Otherwise vehicles are generally replaced over time, which can of course take 20 years. There are command vehicles, equipment carriers and turntable ladders. The fire stations as well as the vehicles and equipment are generally provided by the municipality, but maintained by the firefighters themselves. Depending on the area, there are also boats and appropriate training specialists for water rescue as well as for rescue from heights or equipment with special protective suits for handling chemicals. All types of operations are possible. Retten, löschen, bergen, schützen, rescue, extinguish, recovery, protect are the tasks of the fire department. The fire department responds to fires, car accidents and floods. After storms they clear trees from the road or support rescue services in transporting patients from difficult situations, for example when the stairwell in an old building is too narrow for a stretcher. In 2021 there were around 200,000 fire department deployments due to fires or explosions. At the same time there were around 2.4 million emergency rescue operations. Unfortunately, these are not always completely harmless. One example is a female firefighter who died during the flood disaster at the R Valley while waiting for reinforcement for a bedridden woman. Or two firefighters who died in a fire in the city center of St. Augustine in which 11 other firefighters were injured. Even recently, a firefighter died in the floods when he capsized in a rubber dinghy while on his way to rescue trapped people. Because of or despite all the different operation tasks and dangers, fire departments still need many members and the number of female firefighters has increased significantly in recent years. However, some fire brigades are complaining about a loss of members. A few years ago, the obligation to serve in the volunteer fire department for at least six or seven years was still a way to avoid having to do military service in the armed forces. However, since compulsory military service was suspended a few years ago, this is no longer an incentive. However, the possibility of compulsory military service is currently being discussed, so perhaps there will once again be an incentive for such an obligation. Should it actually be the case that a voluntary fire department can no longer be deployed in a municipality, many state regulations stipulate that a compulsory fire department must then be set up again and many people would therefore be obliged to serve there. So, if you don't yet know what you could do in your free time, the local fire departments are always happy to welcome the members. For people who might want to improve their German, this is also a good opportunity to meet people with whom you need to speak German regularly. Why don't you just drop by? There's often also a support association if you can't imagine actively going on mission yourself. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.